Mongolia, a land of painted deserts dancing in mirage. Mongolia, a land of mystery, of paradox and promise. A thirsty land, a land of desolation. Gazelles, wild asses, and wolves ranged the marching sands. Few explorers had been there, and they brought back tales of thirst, cold, and hunger. One of the most famous scientific expeditions in history wound its way toward Mongolia's dinosaur graveyard. Its leader was a charismatic and controversial explorer named Roy Chapman Andrews. He came from the American Museum of Natural History. But Andrews was an incurable publicity hound and a scientific cowboy. Where his paleontologist used a camel hair brush, Andrews hacked away with a pickaxe. But he found one of the richest dinosaur boneyards in the world. He returned with a spectacular collection of fossils and a library of stunning film images. But in the 1920s, communists seized power in Mongolia. The open door to the west slammed shut. For the next 65 years, the fabulous fossil fields of the Gobi were forbidden territory. Roy Chapman Andrews thought he'd solved the problem in the 20s with a new piece of technology. When it was announced that we were to attempt a scientific exploration of the Gobi Desert with a fleet of motor cars, men said that we were a little less than fools. Only camels had been used in that country. We had 40 men, 8 motor cars, and 150 camels to carry supplies. It was the biggest land scientific expedition ever to leave the United States. Roy Chapman Andrews. From China, Andrews headed northwest. He left Peking, then crossed over the border, and drove deep into the parched heart of outer Mongolia. Mongolia, a land of painted deserts dancing in mirage. Mongolia, a land of mystery, of paradox and promise. A thirsty land, a land of desolation. Gazelles, wild asses and wolves ranged the marching sands. Few explorers had been there, and they brought back tales of thirst, cold and hunger. But Andrews found one more thing, mud. Our average speed was only four miles an hour. Rocks, ravines, washouts, and ditches followed one another in rapid succession. Without a doubt, there were hundreds of bones lying just beneath the surface. But where? If only my eyes could pierce that baffling surface, and get a glimpse of what lay concealed. Within minutes, they were finding fossils. Andrews and his team had stumbled onto the mother load of dinosaur bones. They discovered the remains of some 200 different animals, many of them completely new species. The fossils revealed a world that Andrews found alien and terrifying. Dinosaurs were the sort of creatures you might think of as inhabiting another planet, or the kind you dream of in a bad nightmare. Roy Chapman Andrews, too, spent more than a few days wandering the Gobi. But in the end, he blundered into a discovery that stunned the world. A member of his expedition literally stumbled across a critical link in the great chain of being. On July 13th, George Olson reported that he had found some fossil eggs. We did not take his story very seriously. 
Nevertheless, we were all curious enough to go with him to inspect his find. There could be no mistake. Our paleontologist finally said, Gentlemen, there is no doubt about it. You are looking at the first dinosaur egg ever found. In the late 20s, the winds of change blew fiercely over the great dinosaur fields of Mongolia. That's when Roy Chapman Andrews was forced to leave the Gobi forever. We are more than ever convinced that Central Asia was a paleontology garden of Eden. Still, we have shown the way, have broken trails as it were. Later, others will reap a rich harvest. <laughs>